back to my channel. Today I've decided to do something different for you, which is this makeup look. And it was requested, so I really hope you enjoy it. And if you want to see how to get this, keep on watching. Right, so currently I'm priming my face with Nivea Ferment Soothing Aftershave Balm. I know this sounds crazy, but if you watch Nikki tutorials, you'll know that it is gold. So basically it's got glycerin in it and that makes things tacky so you've got your makeup to last for whatever you need it girl. I think I use a little bit too much. Next I'm going to use my MAC 6 Plus Spray, you know everyone knows about this. Gives the nice base to your makeup. First of all I'm going to start with eyes because I find obviously with pigmented eyeshadows like it drops up and stuff and then it goes to the foundation. Nobody needs that in their life. Well, for eyes I've put some tape on to get a better guide of it and I've already done my other eye to save some time. Put some base on it. I'm using the colour tattoo in pink gold. So. Because it's a cream it will just stick well. And then obviously like I said we're going to be using the Tanya Burr Candy Glam Cosmetics. I'm going to be using two shadows from the palette. I'm using the Creme Brulee and then after I'm going to be taking some date night in Paris for the cream. And a little bit of the snowflake shade just for my inner corner. Oliva Luxe Brow Light and I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus on it just to make sure that the shadows are really pigmented. I am just looking in the mirror by the way. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I'm not terribly good at eyeshadow so just bear with me because this has been a challenge. <laughs> So once you've got that all filled in, onto the blending in of the darker shade, use um, a base shadow brush by Royal Techniques for this. I'm going to start blending that into my crease. I bring it in to the outer corner of the eye just for a bit of an ombre effect and then blend that around not right into the corner because it is a dark shadow and then I'm going to take another brush which is the Luxe Soft Crease Zoeva brush blend that out a little bit more I'm just going to take my finger to just put some highlight in the corner and then I'll be taking Urban Decay eyeliner for my waterline and my bottom line in the version. And I'm just running that all the way through. So that I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow just to use some of my And oh, sorry, I'm using a contour shader for this for the again. And then for the inner corner, because it is quite a dark colour, I'll take the snowflake shade again. With this teeny little brush, shape that and then just put it on the inner corner. And then meet it up um, with the darker shade. I'll be taking my Body Shop Bonding Powder in the shade 3. And this is a matte powder, so I like that because I don't really like really good on bronzers. in the shade Rose Gold, it's really beautiful and sleek is quite affordable so anyone that likes Rose Gold will really love it. I'm using the Multitask Brush by Real Techniques. Then, my favourite part, the highlighter. So, so as we know every single girl in the world is literally obsessed with highlighter, like where did it even come from I'm not even sure but how was I living without it before. So this is the sleek highlighting palette three um, powders. Fan brush by Royal Techniques. You guys need this brush, it's amazing. And basically what I do as well, I like to swirl all three of them in to be fair.
been on the Cupid bow, which is my all-time fave as well, and that is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Everyone knows. Lastly, thank God for this, <laughs> it's going to be my lips in Nude Perfection, and this is like a lip pencil, but it's thick, so. But oh, if you like nudes, go and check this out. I'm just going to add a lipstick onto it as well and I'm using the Maybelline Colour Sensational in Honey Beige and that just gives it a bit more of a sheen sheen yeah, sheen the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist so guys, that's the finished look I really hope you enjoyed it so it's a pinky purpley eye maybe you want to try it or maybe you're interested in some of the products which will all be listed in the description box down below. Yeah, um, so give me a thumbs up if you want. And make sure you subscribe. Bye!